10 hut hey guys general splatton here for splatton studios got a studio update for you these are the first 10 of the chaos dwarfs infernal guard they are level ones uh, put them on lava bases so there they are uh, learn some things about uh, the ranking them up because I built these this way uh, they won't rank up quite properly so I'm going to have to use these for the outside so a uh, good thing I didn't do them all at once uh, then I'd have a lot of problems so always be mindful of that um, these are uh, from Forge World so they are resin figures and I must say I'm very impressed with the level of workmanship and quality on these that they were very easy to clean up and uh, just uh, a lot of fun to work with. Uh, they made uh, the job uh, quite easy so I was very impressed with the uh, resin that they used and the just the ability to work with it. So there they are and I'll get some uh, turntable shots here in a moment but uh, they, they're turning out pretty cool. I really like them. So back in a moment with some close ups. Now here they are coming around. Uh, like I said, these are level one, so they're just basic troops, uh, gaming quality. I like the way these turned out. I did blend up the uh, shields. The shields are not done. I'm gonna have some chaos runes on each of the shields. So even though the painting is done, I still got uh, the decals to put on. But uh, wanted to go with uh, a black scheme. We chose this copper for the metal and I think it turned out pretty cool it uh, lends itself uh, greatly with the uh, red and the uh, lava then we put this teal color on the uh, shoulder pads it's a very small area As you see there um, got it blended up as well so and I put uh, got the uh, dull coat on the figures and then I used some satin varnish on the uh, lava to uh, bring it back out so I think it turned out well. Um, notice the uh, weapons, the metal. We use some uh, of my new paints, some Reaper paints. So uh, I think I'll do a video over on General Splatten channel about uh, those. Uh, really, really cool effects that they produce. So I'll be looking for that. But there they are. Close-ups of those. I'll have some stills in a moment showing uh, more of a top-down effect so you can see on the black it has been highlighted so it's not, uh, it's not a, a huge highlight but certainly if you're holding the figure in your hand you can see the uh, highlights there so I think they turned out pretty cool and tell me what you think got a lot more of these jokers to go but I'm liking the results neat figures and they certainly with all the black they certainly do look intimidating didn't want to spruce them up too much but I thought that they were dwarfs so that their you know their love of metal in the forge that they would have nice armor and certainly the metal work would uh, be top notch so that's the uh, thoughts behind those and uh, tell me what you think I got some stills, and uh, then that'll be the end of it. If you any questions, let me know. This is General Splatten for Splatten Studios, and I'll talk again. Dismissed.